Oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We uh, resume the freight train to hell. <laughs> Oh, what's up, dead man? How you doing today? We're gonna push forward until I die again. You're being a pirate. What does that mean? Are you are you stealing? What are you stealing? You get him out of the party real quick. Get it back to the way it was. Oh, you're playing Sea of Thieves. I got you. You know, I thought I was going to like that more than I do. By which I mean I don't really much care for it. But So we're going to go backwards a bit. Because there's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> excuse me optional like mini boss kind of thing that I missed yeah. the bright side I am much more prepared for this boss Ready? it's gotten a little better but almost everyone is an asshole yeah that uh, that features prominently on my at the top of my list of do not likes That's why I don't really play anything online these days. <laughs> it surprises no one. Well, yeah, there's that. Dang it, I want those points. Stop stealing them from me. Well, I could just keep guarding. I, I did a couple of hours of grinding off stream. Hours being a loose term here. Can't hear because I'm out and about, but popping in to say hi. Thank you for saying hi, Interceptor. Always appreciate it. Yeah, why not? Hey, I robbed four-man crews by myself because they thought they could rob me. That's as much of an asshole as I get. <laughs> that is, that's kind of impressive, really. Okay, that does it. Sick of your crap. Whatever the heck you are. Lizard man, right. That's pretty self-explanatory, I suppose. Fine, kill it. Game doesn't want to give me the points. I can take the hit. Just kill it. Well, as long as you're having fun, dead man. I guess that's kind of the point. Let's 
Stop putting me to sleep. Shenanigans abound. Oh, I'm sure. Wow, alright. This uh, next page is just nothing but monsters. Cosmos, or sorry, Chaos can kill the other one. And somebody gets some points. Probably not her though. Oh, I hope everyone's having a good day. having a weird day. The enemies have been exterminated. So I have probably bad news for me, but good news for you guys, you know, as my viewer base. Um. <laughs> you put as many quotations around the word viewer base as you as you like. Uh I gave my 2 weeks notice of my current job because it's the job from hell in several ways. But right, this guy, I miss this guy. Yeah, I am moving, but like, I feel like I could have uh, stuck it out for another week or two, but at this point I just don't see the point. So I'll have like a nice, solid two to three weeks where I have nothing better to do but stream. What's up, Max? <laughs> I, I saw you said hello, but you know. I hear you. I did that at a call center before. Oh. Call center is like my nightmare job. I said, I said, hi, Max. Calm down. So stop punching my people. It's my job. Wait, that came out wrong. Maybe I'll actually use Momo to heal people like she's supposed to be for. See, I would answer your question, Interceptor, but you've already uh, told us that you can't hear anything. So I feel no, re no need to do so. Does this guy just boost every time I do something, or is it because I'm using uh, tech attacks? <laughs> yep, he does it regardless. Neat. Yeah, I did a call center job for calling farmers. 
Farmers don't want to be disturbed. They're not fun. That and the co-workers were bad. Well, yeah. I, I could... I could definitely see that being awful. That lasted one month. Yeah. That just seems like a really stupid thing to do. Why the hell were you calling farmers? Like, stupid as far as, like, a company model. The other call center was about eight months, dealt with money, oddly better. Yeah, because you weren't calling farmers. <laughs> a survey caller. Oh. Well, that's not great either. Kill him? Damn it. No extra points for me. All systems clear. Oh well. I don't really need the points at this point. That's that's a lie actually. I need all of the points, but Decoder nine. Have I found door nine is the question. Don't I have like an item for this? Or is that later on? Oh, this is a lot of, uh... Door 9 is... Cathedral Ship Research Lab, third floor. Cool. I know exactly where that is. Also, we were both dealing with robots today. I mean... I suppose. Uh, I take it you're doing more Mega Man today? Cosmos is a robot or android? Eh, android is uh, closer to the mark. Because I think the purpose of an android is to exceed human ca you know, capacity and capability, etc. All I know about Cosmos before this is that she was in the PlayStation Magazine Swimsuit Edition. <laughs> You're not wrong. Actually, I think swimsuits are... pieces of armor in the game itself. I don't think it changes her appearance, though. Not in this game. It might in later ones, but, you know... Japan. What, what what are you gonna do? Sounds like monolith software. Yeah. You know, when you put it that way, I really can't argue. Write angry letters at them? They aren't gonna listen. I also don't actually care. Because it doesn't really... Like, I don't do anything with it. So it doesn't bother me. Does that make sense? True, but I feel better. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you. Oh good, he picked up Angel Blow.
I don't think I can do anything with that just yet. Well, okay, that's not true. I can. But I don't think I should. I should have written a letter to NOA last year, actually. I don't know who that is. Oh, hello. There. Cosmos is still maxed out. Oh, Nintendo of America. What are you going to write to them about? Do I want to know? I don't feel like I want to know. Ooh, yes. Yes. This is the best setup that you can get. <laughs> and this fight is over. Do you want to know? I mean, I can hint at it. They participated in a parade in June. Oh, alright, say no more. I don't need to know anymore. I don't care. I live in a cave. Let people do what they want. So long as they do it away from my front door. I will moderate my own behavior. Just, you know, don't make me have to moderate yours. That being like the royal yours. <laughs> The cavening. <laughs> You're right, I'm gonna change my name immediately. June is my least favorite month now on that part. Oh. You don't know when to give up. I have nothing to say. in a row. Thank you, game. I appreciate this. The enemies have been exterminated. And the goggles do nothing. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I recognize that reference. You know, I think that's like that's old. That's old. That's classic Simpsons. The goggles doing nothing. I feel like classic Simpsons had more physical comedy. Maybe it's just me. You know, more slapstick stuff. I could be wrong. I got the left arm. Sweet. Well, time to save the game. And, uh... Go take the overly dramatic elevator again. And probably not die on this boss fight. There you go. Even un even Interceptor understood that reference. start streaming and then realize that you really have to take a leak? 
Because that's me today. I don't even know how I got to this point in my life. It might have been because I downed a beer the instant I got home. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, that took longer than it should have, but uh, I have a good reason. Did I? You know what? Maybe not. I remember if... I don't think I went back up to save it, so I probably do need to get the item on the left here. Oh, excuse me. I've got hiccups. What the hell? Oh, excuse me. There we go. I'll, uh, I'll answer that in a minute. One lizard man. Get out of here. Wasted my time. You have played yourself? Oh, yeah, because you decided you really don't want to know. Yes. Let's let's use the elevator and go down to the the thing that murdered me last time. Now the reason I was late coming back is because I made a stop along the way and that is the sound of a man who has learned nothing. Provided you guys even hear hear that over the elevator. Uh, or a man who's learned everything. All right, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Door. Oh man, we get to see this animation again. I love this animation. I kind of want to make a looping video of every door that you have to, like, any of the big facility doors you have to open in uh, Xenogears, and just loop it over and over. <laughs> Randomize it a little bit. Look at that. The Zohar. I could skip this, but I feel like watching it again. We must go. Hey, Cosmos, wait! Don't you go off on your own! I don't recall programming her that way. But what's the Zohar 
doing here? I have confirmed that this object can be identified with a 99.99998% probability to be the Zohar emulator that was stored on board the Voglinde. An emulator? Are you saying a real one exists somewhere else? Affirmative. Affirmative. So I have questions. Cosmos, because I haven't played two and three, and maybe I those would explain it. Any type of information like that in your main data bank? You. You're the creator. But why would you create a machine to emulate yes. an infinite yeah, energy engine? That? Especially if that's not what it Can does. <laughs> That's right. I, I was the one behind the disappearance of the planet Ariadne. All that mattered was the recovery of the emulator. That was the reason behind the deployment of Vector and the military. They were really only pawns. But it's in spite of all that... He's freaking out. The dream is collapsing. I didn't heal before this, but I think I'll take enough less damage than before that I'll do okay. I don't know. <laughs> I might die again. <laughs> Fix that real quick. Not the best opener, but figured the enemies are gonna have their say anyway. Okay, that still hurts just as bad. Maybe not. Thank you. 
Oh right, silence is a thing. I didn't plan for this at all. Again. <laughs> On the other hand, I didn't really take all that much damage. I think I have... Either damage did 280. Let's try physical. Oh yeah, that's nice. Stop silencing him, jeez. this vague impression that killing this thing is just going to make the battle worse. And I don't know why. That's why. Well, shoot. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Might as well get this out of the way. I'm so sorry, chat. I have to do this to steal things. Try to understand. I don't understand. I do physical down for him. It's not a bad idea. Stuff. All right, I got the the less good thing. Unleash some of thy powers. Rude and impressive. Alright, I'll steal the good one. You managed to do this on the 
the doomed attempt. This is a slightly less than doomed attempt. Yes! Good! I guess we'll see... I'll actually pay attention to what kind of damage I'm doing here. C1 and... Okay, so about 430. I'll try physical to see how that does. Oh good, the enemy is boosting now. Did not do as good as the gun. Oh, he might actually get to attack. boss doesn't change anymore. What? Oh, okay. 600. I can deal with 600. That's not so bad. stuff to people. Really, dude? Really? <laughs> Finally, somebody dodges. that thing is, but make sure that it always remembers the day Punch's boot entered its ass. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, well, we're getting there, slowly but surely. It's gonna take a while. You could say I didn't bring the A-Team because I don't have an A-Team. But 
but this is about as close as we can get, really. I know what the game wants me to do here, and it just wants me to boost the crap out of him. I don't know if I have the damage to do that. The A-Team is expensive. Yeah, you're right. side, I'm not getting AoE attacked by the companion anymore because it's just healing him. But that's also really obnoxious. What the F is that dinosaur in a straitjacket? Look man, I don't know any more than you as to what this thing is. I know who it was, but it ain't, it ain't him anymore. Cosmos rip on him. Make sure you stretch though, you aren't as young as you once were. Really, Hoodie. <laughs> How do you miss? How do you miss? The thing is huge. All oh right, that's physical attack up. So that did nothing for her. I feel kind of stupid at the moment. moment? Yes. What are you trying to say? I know what you're trying to say. I always feel some variation of the dumb. It's part of the human condition, I feel. Just hit him. I refuse to let it be his turn. <laughs> I'm out of boosts though, and he's only got 800 health left. 
Burn. Burn it down. Six hundred. You mean fourteen hundred after the heal comes through again? Quiet, you. I got him down to th three, I think. I want to say three. You just silenced the guy who was already silenced, I think. All right, we're up to nine hundred. Ouch. Yeah, 900. I can math okay. Maybe we should just kill these things now. Like, he doesn't seem that too dangerous on his own. Odo Gogu. Good. That's, that's good language there. I just don't have enough damage. Why did music notes pop out of it? Look man, we don't question a lot of what goes on when Momo's on the screen, okay? It's just, you're better off not knowing, or understanding, or even thinking about it. This is a kind of a point in case right here. That's not good. Please don't straight up murder somebody. Because that would be bad. Oh, I forgot that you nicknamed her Frank. <laughs> Damn it. We're so close. Please don't let it just murder me. Okay, 150. I can deal with that. Okay, 156 health left. Can I get it? Yes, I can. I literally don't have to do a whole lot else. Provided the enemy doesn't boost. I literally just have to give it to her and then give it to him. And then give it back to her. And then we're done here. Give me them delicious points. Come on. Cosmos would be a DLC character if this game was made today. Don't. Don't put that curse on us. What's up, Pavlo? <laughs> Times two. Alright. I guess I'll take it. Yeah, she is super strong. And you're probably right.
behold the light that spreads before your eyes. This light once symbolized civilization, the very will of the human race. But what can be gleaned from the light we see today? The people of this world have cast away their will to create, drowning themselves instead in an endless cycle of consumption. What you see now is the deceitful light cast by their stagnant the commander? But who's that with him? The people you've encountered in your lifetime are not people at all. They are less than human, mere sacks of flesh and bone. Only upon the realization of self-will can a person truly be called a man. You chose to reject the false light, refused to succumb to their lies. That's why you never faltered, even after all the personality reconditioning. The commander underwent personality reconditioning? Long ago, man was forced to leave behind his homeland. This was brought about by the masses who extinguished the very light that drove their will. So how about it, Cherenko? Let us rekindle the torch so that human consciousness may once again be resurrected for our sake and that of our God. Happiness? Were those my feelings just now? No, it must have been the Commander's feelings. Commander, You were searching for. It's a pretty deep question to ask. I never really existed at all. I... 36 years ago, the year after the Zoar incident, which led up to the Milshin conflict, I was brought into this world as a weapon of warfare. It happened all the time back then. Killing was my... No, our whole reason for existence. The fortunate ones were those who could adapt to that way of life. Even luckier were those who died on the battlefield. But I was never granted that opportunity. Before I could find some significance to my own life, the war ended. And I was left behind while the world went on. I tried to adapt. But the language I spoke was so different from the rest of the world. I thought the entire world had rejected me. But the commander, it felt like he really needed me. I saw a future for myself in the commander. Or I wanted to, at least. But I had to rely on the drugs to communicate with the rest of the world. It was because I hadn't changed. After everything that happened, I hadn't changed at all. Now I finally understand. The world didn't reject me. I rejected the world. Xion. I like it here. I'm the only living thing that exists in this place. There's nothing else. No anger, no sadness, no happiness, not even a future. The only thing that's here is me. And that'll eventually fade away. It feels good. This is exactly what I've been searching for all this time. 
Chiana, you will eventually find yourself here too. I'm sure of it. It won't be much longer. I know. I can tell. In the meantime, I'm still dying. dead I have not played near a automata Killed the shit out of him. <laughs> Sorry. Are we all going to end up like him? We're still here, and none of us have turned into Gnosis. Perhaps we can take solace in that. Here, stand up. Well, well hold up. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. Totally different. <laughs> The connection between the phenomenon boundaries is dissipating. If this continues, this spatial location will disappear. We are in danger. This isn't good. <laughs> oh, somebody turned off the gravity. Look! Over there! Hey! Miss Vector! You still alive? Chief! Are you alright? You only witnessed the part where we killed him. Where's your proof? I mean, where's your proof I killed him? There's no body. Body, no case. Doesn't hold up in court. Man, there's a ton of them. What the? That's Randall. You got it. Registration confirmed, little master. It's the Elsa. Jeez, those guys were damn lucky we were passing by. What the hell are they doing here? Well, whatever. Target the Gnosis! Cut open an escape path for the Elsa and annihilate the enemy! Sounds like the fighting started. Are we gonna be okay? There were so many of them when we transferred in. They destroyed an entire Federation fleet. It would be wiser for us to flee than fight. This is no good. We'll never get all of them. But what should we do? We should resupply early. This is what I get for taking off the UTIC. Otherwise, this would be a cinch. Little Master, enemy group formation approaching from 5 o'clock. We're being surrounded on all sides. So they're not gonna let us go, huh? And they've coordinated their attack patterns. I've never seen them fight like this before. Even if we gate jump out of here, we may not be able to shake them. Little Master, another group is chasing after the Elsa! Captain! Hey, you alright? Tony, can you lose him? I 
doubt it. They're a lot faster than we are. Damn it. If Randall's guns aren't slowing them down, what are we gonna do? How about a how about a little Deus Ex Machina? Huh? Hatch number seventeen is open. Was somebody still down there? It's Cosmos. What is she? I'll put it on the monitor. Cosmos. She's uh, riding the elevator that never ends. There's too many of them for you to destroy. You're not equipped to handle that great a number. Xion. Will feeling pain make me complete? Phenomena appearing in the variant. In Mama? Where's it coming from? Scanning transfection course. Course tracked. It's coming from the quarantine hangar. Quarantine hangar? It can't be the Zohars. It is. External sources are sending requests to the Zohars. Paradigm contamination is spreading. If this keeps up, the mother frame will be taking over. Cut off the main line to the quarantine hangar. Stabilize the attract inhibitor through a secondary line. Main line purged. All signals blocked. Do they not have elevator override in the future? Okay, look. The crew of this spaceship, upon first meeting this lady, <laughs> she almost broke in the windows because bad. they wouldn't do what she wanted. That wasn't so bad. I think they've learned to do what she wants. Chief? Did... Did that really just happen? Yeah. It appeared as if she absorbed the Gnosis. How could she have weaponry we don't even know about? No, that wasn't a weapon. That was... Something impossible. Who cares if it's possible or not? She got rid of the Gnosis, right? Ah, uh, Captain. Little Master's been buzzing us for a while. Huh? Oh, patch him in. I like how the captain has a chair that moves on an arm just so that he can kick hammer. I appreciate that more than anything. <laughs> Kevin, is this your hand at work?
Is this the real cosmos that you wish to create? Better question, why didn't she just do that to the earlier enemy? Uh, there's something with her eyes. Like there's another entity within Cosmos that has to surface in order to be able to do that, I guess. We'll go with that. Commander. What is it? Commander Cherenkov's FMS tracking signal has disappeared. And the UMN? Huh. I was able to track him while he traveled through hyperspace, but I lost him at point two one zero zero seven eight three. There are traces of a space-time anomaly at that same point, so we believe the Gnosis may have been there. I see. I remembered that cutscene in 4K Ultra HD. Guess memory is a bit slurred by nostalgia. Yeah. So you got it, Roger, little man. I can't tell you how many games I've. Thanks for helping us out. <laughs> you guys better fill me in on the situation later. Man, what the heck is going on here? Things I remember better than they are. We've gone and caught a bug, so we can't perform any investigations or analyses for a while. That's terrible. Tell me about it. Hey, is that Little Master? He's our boss. The head honcho. Hey, Little Master! We picked up a couple of passengers headed for Milsha while we were working. What should we do with them? They look like they're in pretty deep with something. Well, your first concern should be to repair the Elsa. Why don't you get it fixed over at the Foundation? You won't make it very far in that kind of shape. Foundation? You mean the Kukai Foundation? From the Galactic Finance 500's top 10 fastest growing corporations list? Then you must be... Ah, oh, the business stuff was meant to be a side thing. We got lucky, that's all. This is bad, Chief. We can't associate with these people. Hey, hey. I heard that, What do you man. mean, these people? Would you rather we left you here in space? Uh, no. Sorry, sir. Look, little say we just leave this horse behind. He spends all his time moaning and groaning. Hey, come on, Captain. Chaos, help me out here. Well, it's not really up to me, you know. I better leave this one to you two. Then I'm definitely giving him the boot. Come on! <laughs> hey, man, don't freak out. We're just playing. <laughs> What's wrong? Something worrying you? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm Shion Uzuki. Nice to, um, meet you. Junior. Guinan Junior. I got a real name, but let's just leave it at that for now. Good to meet you. Shelly, change of plans. We're returning to the Foundation. Make sure to tell Guinan that we have secured the final emulator. Roger. Preparing to return to the Foundation. I want some kind of affirmation that Guinan is a uh, less than subtle nod to Star Trek. <laughs> I feel like it is, especially given uh, some of the references made in Xenogears. You're gonna tell me that the commander didn't have any money on him? Disappointing. Guy! 
Hey, Just Data. It's going well. How are you doing today? I mean, I'm doing well. This guy doesn't seem so hot. Also, I really appreciate your name. <laughs> Often do you get asked if you're a robot out of curiosity? <laughs> Controls here seem extremely strict. They're so big. Six to each side, with one directly across. Thirteen in all. Looks like each block has a name inscribed on it. You've got great eyesight. Hmm, let's see. Peter, Andrew, Boanerges, Thomas. John, um, Philip, Matthew, Bartholomew, James, Thaddeus, Simon, Judas, and the last one? It appears to say Marian Kind. Marian Kind. I think I've heard that somewhere. It means the child of Mary. This is where we store all the really dangerous items. So, uh, Jesus and his Stuff twelve like disciples. This. I don't remember Bo and Ergies in there, though. <laughs> Zohars! Actually, they're all emulators. And they've all been sealed, including the one we just retrieved. Why are these Zohars here? Well, our corporation does dabble a little in everything. Besides, these days, you can't get by without having something to deal with the Gnosis. And we definitely can't wait around for the Federation to get off its lazy butt. What's in the room across from here? Nothing pleasant, I'll tell you that much. You're not going to show us? Trust me, it ain't something you'd want to see. Even if we were to consider the diversity of your businesses, you're still a Foundation, right? I mean... The weaponry on this ship far outclass those on any warship. Who are you people, anyway? We were more or less a government organization previously. Well, I guess if you want to see it that badly. I never finished this game as a kid. Pretty sure I was too young to even understand what was going on. I mean... Yeah... I only recently finished it because I was emulating it illegally and then I decided I liked it enough that what I bought all three of the games. So <gasps> here we are. I warned you, you weren't gonna like it, didn't I? All of these specimens appear to be humans whose bodies turned into gnosis. Transformed bodies. I've only heard of them before. Most people just turn white and shatter to pieces. But there are a few exceptions, and they end up like this. We've named this one Betty for now. It's hard to look straight at them. But I don't want to refer to them by some code name or number. It's just not right to treat the dead like mere objects. Is that a lady? She was a little girl. The last time we saw her. I've also heard that 2 and 3 get really good. I have not played either of them. them. Not much. 
plenty of Gnosis remains have been recovered to date. But nobody's but, uh, learned we'll get there eventually. <laughs> you know what they're composed of? No. Sodium chloride. Plain old salt. Even their translucent bodies are mostly made up of water and sodium hydroxide. How can ordinary compounds like that form creatures like them? No one really knows why those who survive Gnosis encounters always turn into one of them. Some people think they're a new type of virus. Others say they're beings from another dimension who take on temporary forms in this one. Oh, thank you for the follow, Just Data. Always? It's no very exceptions? kind of you. Nope. Not as far as I know. So they could be from another dimension? Wouldn't that mean that their true forms might exist somewhere else? Who knows? All that's certain is that they're hostile to humans. Not that such a sentiment is unique to them. Chief, is something wrong? You don't look so good. Huh? No, don't <laughs> No <worry>. weeb emotes? <laughs> So when did this all begin? Unofficially, phenomena like this have been occurring periodically over the past few centuries. But, after a certain incident, the Gnosis leapt into the forefront of history. A certain incident? The Milshin Conflict. Hmm? Joachim Mizrahi. It was he who opened Pandora's box and unleashed the Gnosis upon the galaxy. And we're all paying for his ambition. Joachim Mizrahi, the brilliant scientist who founded the UTIC organization. Brilliant? He was a lunatic. Unable to bear his curiosity, he invited the Gnosis into our world. Lunatic? The foundation was established after the war by the newly formed Second Milchian government to clean up and investigate the facts behind the incident. Technically, that's our real job. The problem is, the funding's tight in peacetime. On top of that, running the foundation takes a staggering amount of money, and the management of these Zohars ain't cheap either. So, we ended up privatizing part of our operations and became a foundation. We never imagined that some of our side businesses would hit it so big, though. Daddy... Daddy wasn't like that. Oh, good. I get I get control back for another thirty seconds. Not even thirty seconds. <laughs> Interactive movie, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's an interactive movie until you have to meet the game's uh, requirement for killing certain bosses. And then, you know, it's a bit of a grind. Oh, perfect time for an, e for an email. Oh. Go ahead, I can go back to the cathedral ship. Oh, why can't I talk today? Problems. My face has problems. Defeat this boss to unlock the next part of the movie. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of how I stream this game, which is just, I bull rush the story until I die, and then I grind off stream. <laughs> okay, but where did she go? You, you tell me that she left on the train. There's like eight different places I could go. 
I'm gonna say the park. There we go. I am going up the down escalator. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do, game. And have a small sense of freedom every now and again. Rahi the lunatic? Is Daddy really like that? Since Daddy built us, does that mean we aliens are bad people too? Momo, we were looking all over for you. Hello, Xion. What's wrong? You look kind of down. Xion, I... I was created by Yoakim Mizrahi. He designed the 100 series Realians back when the Federation funded him. I know. Xi'an, I... Daddy wasn't a lunatic. I don't even know what I am. Identity diffusion. The eternal dilemma. Do you know about the environmental bugs on board this ship? They're actually nano machines, you know, used to keep I'm glad Max isn't here. like this clean. Because I don't have to play the sound clip for nano machines. All the things Professor Mizrahi or anyone else created, they rank up there pretty high. These bugs may be man-made, but they function as if they've existed all along, almost as if they were meant to be. I think realians are the same. The only difference between us is the length of our histories. But regardless of our origins, each one of us has an important role to fulfill in this world. It's always nano machines. It is. <laughs> Besides, I really doubt Dr. Mizrahi was a dangerous person like everyone makes him out to be. And it's not just because of the environmental bugs. The work he did on realians was incredibly insightful. The fundamental gnosis research Professor Misrahi left behind played a critical role in the development of modern anti-gnosis technology. Thanks for the backup, Cosmos. I'm really glad to see you react like that. Empathizing with the feelings of others is a major factor in human relationships. Although I do not believe that the current situation called for me to act in an empathetic manner, I am pleased to be of service to you. <laughs> I think Cosmos is really funny. Too bad she doesn't take instruction very well. I never got to meet Daddy. But he used to talk to me all the time before I was born. It's all a little hazy, but I remember him telling me that I could become a real person if I did good deeds. Really? That's a wonderful memory to have. Uh-huh. Chief! Great news! After this ship arrives at the Kukai Foundation, they're gonna take us to Second Milsha. <laughs> Second Milsha? Really? Apparently, they have some work to take care of out there. The captain's still whining about repairing the Elsa, but... Some work? I wonder... The only thing I learned from Metal Gear Solid. Huh? Why or what is X? Nano machines. Well, <laughs> I'm sure they've got their own reasons. But don't you think it's a little strange that everyone's heading for Milsha? Not really. It's probably just a coincidence. I'm just glad we saved some money. Not to mention that this ship's a million times better equipped than the Elsa. And we'll have nothing to worry about if we run into the Gnosis again. Hey, speaking of which, did you check out your room? They all have jacuzzis and mini bars and... Hey, what's wrong, Chief? 
Nothing, nothing. I'm just jealous of how easily swayed you are. Alright, now I have to now, because everybody keeps talking about nano machines. Nano machines, son! Also fills the empty space in this game. It's so odd that there's no like random walk around music. It's just ambient ship noises forever. I feel like there's a couple items in here, but I don't remember where they are. Sadly, they don't let me destroy furniture in here. Like they do on in every other ship in this entire game. Good night, enjoy the movie. Alright, Pablo. Take it easy, man. Can't hear music in the vacuum of space. Okay. That's <laughs> very true. I have no idea what the next uh event trigger is supposed to be though. Let's just go to the bridge. So wait, if you never finished this game as a kid, did you never uh, find the Voltron robot? Because that's the only way I've been able to finish this game. Because the alternative is just hours upon hours of grinding. Or to actually understand the mechanics in this game, which I've never been especially gifted at. <laughs> Well, I'm going to get it, because I don't really care about the optional bosses, but I still want to beat them. This is probably not where I needed to be. Oh, what are you doing up here? Oh, all you guys are up here. I think I only have two of the six pieces that you need in order to make the robot. I would get to parts like this and have no clue what I'm supposed to do next. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's it's exactly where we stand right now. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. got an email that's optional apparently 
Oh. <laughs> it's an advertisement for Ace Combat 4. Amazing. Thanks, Namco. Only 20 years too late. <laughs> Actually, I think it's interesting that uh, I can't wait for it to come out. <laughs> oh. Yeah, rest when you're tired. It's fine. Good. That's exactly what the game wanted me to do. travel guide on the Elsa. Oh, really? I never know. I don't check out vacation guides very often. Oh, look! We're docking! Did I already play Xenogears? I'm actually still in my second playthrough of Xenogears. Um, that's usually what I do on my Wednesdays. <laughs> I've been kind of slacking, but we're towards the middle of this too at this point, so... I don't know if it's the same. <laughs> but to answer your question, yes, and also no, because Zeno Gears is still one of my favorite games of all time. Eve is the best time to visit. The evening metropolis is quite a sight to behold with all her lights. Gainen Kukai, the managing director of the Kukai Foundation. Huh? Huh? Junior? What was that? Uh, nothing. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Kukai Foundation. I heard about your situation from Captain Matthews in Chaos. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you for all your help. Enjoy your stay. What's wrong with me? Acting so rudely towards someone I just met. And you must be Momo. I've received word from Yuri Mizrahi of the Contact Subcommittee. We'll make sure you get to Milsha safely. From mommy? Right. She told me to take good care of you. Can I talk to her? Well, she seemed pretty busy. Oh, I see. Why doesn't mommy ever want to see me? I'll let you know as soon as I hear from her again. All right. Thank you very much. Excuse you, Mr. Glowing Eyes. What the hell?
Oh right, it's probably because she got touched by Gnosis or something. That android Cosmos, she's got an incredible amount of potential, you know. There's no way she's just a prototype. I'm also concerned about how she resonated with the emulators. The Hilbert effect. I heard they lost the archetype, but it looks like there's more to this than it seems. And don't forget about her engineer. What was her name? Xion? I think she might be on to us. And our powers. No way. She's just an ordinary human. She might not be as ordinary as you think. I doubt it. She seems normal enough to me. I guess it's possible, though. After all, she's involved in the highest classified part of that project. The same one Helmer's involved in. The Zohar project. Listen. Why don't we... lay off the Mizrahi talk for a while? <laughs> Concerned about that Momo girl? Don't look at me like that. You think she likes being called the child of a madman? After all, we were both there when Mizrahi finally met his end. We saw what happened. You know that girl's a realian. Her memory might be imprinted with something. So you're saying the image she holds of Mizrahi is a false one? I don't know. That's why I want you to lay off when you're around her. At least, for now, anyway. If you're that concerned about her, why don't you invite her down to the beach? I'm sure it'll help take her mind off of things. Man! I told you! It's not like that! Hey. What's this? Oh, the best gift you can give a kid. A gun. <laughs> Man, it's a stainless steel finished Makalov! With the original box and everything! I won it at a Lion's Heart auction. It was part of their antique weapons collection. Good <laughs> nano machines? <laughs> That's a close second, I guess. For all the hard work you've done for us recently. Have I gone too far? <laughs> Don't go shooting that thing all over the place. Remember, you're older than I am. Try to act like it once in a while, all right? It's open. Chief, we better get going soon. Yeah. What's wrong? Maybe it's just me, but you've been acting gloomy ever since we boarded this ship. Hmm? No. Really, it's nothing. What? You really think I'm acting like that? Yep. No doubt about it. Hmm. See? Just like that. <laughs> oh, I just have a lot on my mind. I'm sure that's all it is. Are you sure? If something's bothering you, I'd be more than happy to listen. Hey, Xion! <laughs> Let's go out and play! Hmm? I'll wait for you over at the shuttle launch, so hurry, okay? See you there! I feel like Alan is the butt of so many jokes in this game. Supposedly that never stops going into two, and then he gets like a character redemption in three. But uh kinda sad they don't just keep it going. <laughs>
Oh wait. What's the difference between the hangar and the dock? I guess the hangar would be good for the eggs units. Oh no, hangar's where the Elsa's at. That makes more sense. be nice to have a private beach. Oh, everyone just hopped into the party. Oops. Back up. Back up. Yeah, this is fine. Probably. I really hope Floral Tempest is actually worth something. Then again, it is Momo. So... Hey Mr. JRPG, how you doing man? I uh, finally got to the Kukai Foundation. You know, looking back, it's like, I've been streaming for, oh, about an hour and 40 minutes or so. And the entire summation of what I've accomplished is, killed one boss, and watched some cutscenes. <laughs> she has a heart? Cosmos? Showing emotional behavior? I've run across some interesting phenomena. It's still pretty weak, of course. Almost like a tiny little pulse. Really? We should definitely keep an eye on that. Cosmos elemental data structure duplicates that of the human brain. So something like that's certainly not out of the question. She was empathizing with Momo back there. I wonder what her subconscious waves were like. Flatline. Oh well, nothing here at all. No. What's the matter, Chief? You didn't come down to the beach just to stare at the Alan, screen what all are day, you freaking wearing? Come on, Shion. Why don't you come and play with us? So we made it to the beach anyway. episode of the anime. <laughs> working on Cosmos? Uh, it must be really tough. Ah, I really Cosmos. can't argue. She's got a lot of black box areas that even we can't analyze. Black box? Yeah. We're painstakingly analyzing her bit by bit so that we can recreate her original form again. The only person who knew everything about Cosmos was Kevin. 
Oh, Mr. JRBG, you said it's like your frequent Cold Steel streams. Do you think Guinan and Junior are father and son? Are there really that many cutscenes? They look a little too far apart in age to be brothers. I've heard rumors here and there. Some say Guinan cloned himself, while others say Junior's his illegitimate son, or... I thought Guinan was his cat. Clone. Their genome arrays are a little too different for I'm that. I'm so confused. Wow. You can actually see that, Momo? I'm an observational realian. They're more than just siblings, or father and son. But at the same time, they're not identical either. Is that sort of thing possible? Their DNA only has to differ by 0.1% to make them different people, right? Hey, who's an illegitimate son? Uh, man, this beach is really great. It doesn't feel artificial at all. It's our latest Good cover, product. Alan. You can even change the weather. You can't have blue skies all the time, right? Excellent job, cameraman. <laughs> Nobody pay any attention to me, please. Representative Helmer, busy as always, I see. Well, hello, Negredo. How are things What going? did you just call him? Hmm. I don't really care for that name. <laughs> We're currently headed your way, and we're carrying an unusual package, so I thought it best to inform you. Oh? We secured it from an unexpected source. The Federation cruiser Woglinde. It's an emulator. The twelfth one. That matches the UTIC records. Right. There's no question that it's responsible for the planetary disappearance. Assuming they haven't constructed any more, that's all of them. Aside from the original, of course. That's clearly impossible. Now that the only man who can create them is no longer alive. True enough. And one more thing. We have the Contact Subcommittee's 100 series prototype. How did that wind up in your hands? One of our passenger freighters rescued her 76 hours ago. Is the ability to attract that sort of coincidence another one of your special powers? Not a coincidence, but a probability, as a certain acquaintance might say. Anyway, I'm concerned with what the UTIC organization is up to. You may want to step up your precautions. I'll see what I can sniff out from the UMN Administration Bureau. We can locate any large-scale gate jumps from there. Excellent idea. Assuming they have no emulators in their possession. The odds are that they'll go after the original sealed on old Milsha. Not to mention... Udu. I don't know what their ultimate goal is. But we can't allow that thing to reawaken again, no matter what. Understood. We'll prepare for your arrival. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Goodbye, friend. Thank you for the vague foreshadowing. Okay, so rest at hotel, and then go to the Elsa. Oh, 
if I have that right. I think I do. I do vaguely remember something to do with the fish finder. But I don't think I have that yet. Isn't the, uh, the dude who builds the robot, isn't he around here somewhere? Yeah, this. The Foundation Robot Academy. Dr. Jigglesworth. If you have no idea what I mean, you, you, will, you will see what I mean. Okay. Yeah, this. It, what? What are you doing, old man? Stop it. <laughs> Get some help. I just... I'm... I don't understand what he's supposed to be conveying. I... I... I don't under... I don't understand. <laughs> Even this animation set... just... It's so weird. This character is just weird in so many ways. I guess they're having fun with it. Alright, so we're building the robot of the future from the pieces of the past. I understand. Totally. Why is that man crip walking? Uh, is that what that is? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Shadow, I literally just said I have no idea what this guy's deal is. but he wants me to build a giant robot so I can't really complain about that
Oh cool, his name is just Professor. How convenient. Oh wait a minute. There's a downstairs here. I can break your stuff, right? No. Maybe next time I can break his stuff. A man's dream is a giant robot and then he he jiggles. Alright, maybe maybe like leaving and then coming back prompts like a part two. Or it's too early in the game. You know, it's one or the other. The load time here tells me. Yep. Chapter 2. Lovely, stupid robot sounds. There you go, Shadow. In case you're uh, still hanging around. You, you get an up-close and personal look at uh, Dr. Jigglesworth here. clean up your factory first. Good. I can break all your stuff. Sad that there's nothing in these boxes. Is that everything? They're good. Oh yes, I have a lot of free time. It's really disconcerting to me that one of those robot arms is just a hand. Like with a glove and everything. Great. Now I have a uh, throny blade. Oh wait, I have to set it first. Perfect. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with this team. You know, I haven't done anything with the eggs. I don't really know that I want to, because that's expensive. They're also really slow by comparison. And I'm not I'm not a fan of that.
quiz game. I didn't sign up for this. Uh, parts shop. Talk to me. There we go. And the eccentric professor. It's just professor. Okay, clothing is hanging second from the left on the wall at the cleaners. How in the world? Uh. Nope. What did what did that do? You know what? I'll come back for another round. <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. Why is Destroy Runner a quiz game? Wow. Literally everything but the purple shirt. So I guess it's the purple shirt. Who's all fired up about the drill? Shoot, it wasn't Sergeant Swain, because he's dead. Is it Holder? F. I don't remember. That's fine. Wouldn't he want the awning extended over his bar? I'm I'm confused. Engagement ring, eh? Dropped it on the beach. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is awfully specific of this fish. Well, now I definitely need the fish finder. 
so that I can get that engagement ring back. Because JRPGs and their yeah. side quests. There's a box back there. Ooh. Oh, he already has one. He already has one of these. Never mind then. Wait, when did I get the navy gloves? You know what, I probably just never equipped them. Good job, me. Okay then. Glad there's at least a save point. Tell you guys what. I'm getting the itch to play Breath of the Wild again. <laughs> it's a problem, all right. So we'll go through the next sequence. Because that'll take I don't know how long. We might switch over. Home now with a stable connection. Welcome home, Mr. JRPG. You uh, you really didn't miss a whole lot. Like we were at the beach f briefly, and <sighs> I kind of blanked on what else happened in there because not a whole lot else happened in there. <laughs> All right, hangar. I have to go to the hangar. Hey, interceptor. Are you are you home now? Why do you say oh no? Oh no!
Is this not the hangar that I was thinking of? Or wait. I can probably get back to the Elsa from the dock, can I? Uh, I just screwed all this up, didn't I? Eh, it's fine. I feel like the, having a tram to get around is not the best model of efficiency in a crisis. Oh, you're talking about the Breath of the Wild itch. <sighs> Look, I got problems, alright? <laughs> It m you'd think it'd be a good idea to just wander around, wouldn't you, Captain? But I'm not going to just wander around. I'm going to get into trouble. And then, once I die, I'll just wander around. <laughs> Alright, we have... Current output is 5.806 LPP. Not even 3% of the required levels. In other words, you're saying it's impossible to open the door to Lost Jerusalem. Open the door? It's doubtful whether we can even find it. I've told you repeatedly that the emulators were mere supplements. You're the one who ignored that. Because of you, we've lost a valuable asset. I've done what I can. But it's not going to make much difference. Even Mizrahi couldn't pull this off without the original. So, have you finally come to acknowledge that lunatic's work? I'm just being objective. No one in the universe is as knowledgeable in this field as he was. We can't keep our commander waiting any longer. We'll proceed with Plan 401. Plan 401, huh? That seems a bit extreme to me. The 100 series that Helmer's protege is babysitting, not only does it contain the entire record of Mizrahi's research, but the access code for the UMN transfer column to the sealed area of Old Milsha also resides in it. Treat it too roughly, and you'll lose everything. I'm well aware of the importance of Milsha and the Y data. That's why I'm using him. I do not like him. His eyes share the same look as Mizrahi's. And the same as yours. <laughs> well, I'll be waiting for the good news. Pelladry, secure a channel to our commander. I want to report this and discuss our plans for manipulating the committee. I see. So what do you want me to do? Oh, what's up, Quinn? The How you doing tonight? Proceeding as planned. Don't interfere with it for now. Of course. I can't imagine the second Milshan government and the Kukai Foundation will simply hand it over. If this situation warrants, we may have to use the Song of Nephilim. Now this is a surprise. I thought you hated it with a passion. I'm just saying even your toys have their uses. Then why don't you join me? We can enjoy the show together. Thanks, I'll pass. I don't share your perverse taste in hobbies. <laughs> yeah, right, you gutless bastard. Albedo. A URTV. A monster born of life recycling. There are plenty of mentally unstable life recycling variants out there. Just as Cherenkov was one of them. 
if he starts getting impatient and moves on his own. You needn't worry about that. Time means nothing to him. The only thing that interests him is that realia. Are you really going to use the Song of Nephilim? Pelagri, have you ever heard it? That song draws everything unto madness. It's a fun greeting, Mr. JRPG. <laughs> uh, most sane man in the series, if you if you say so, if you say so. He's the object of uh, I never thought I'd come unwarranted censorship. Chief, is something wrong? Huh? Uh, oh no, it's uh, nothing. Because it isn't really censorship, it's just... I don't know why they did that. Pass that, Cosmos. I'll explain when we get there. Fine. There are no problems. Please continue. And once again, it's nothing. You know, for those who aren't familiar with it. We will soon be entering the Milshan star system. We will be entering orbit at 1400 hours local time. Second Milsha spaceport flight control, transmitting flight plan, requesting permission to dock. Hey, Momo! Yes. I remember once a long time ago where someone well, made a YouTube video playing that albedo scene right? with the FF7 yes. gold saucer theme. That sounds I don't know if Realians believe amazing. in charms or not, <laughs> Here, take this. It's for luck. It's so pretty. What is it? It's a bullet from a long time ago. Look, That's somehow very appropriate. It's got a good luck phrase on it. Sayonara, baby. Thank you. I'll keep it safe. Oh, wait. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Rudimentary crafting. we go. Try it on. Wow! You can do things like that too? That's wonderful! It kind of tires me out a bit though. What a strange welcome! Are they escorting us in this time? They're blocking the way? <gasps> this is no welcome. As you can see from this video, the Kukai Foundation has engaged in what is clearly an act of aggression against the 117th Marine Division. From the events that followed, we can only come to the conclusion that this was an act of rebellion orchestrated by the Foundation's creators, the Second Milshan Government. In light of these troubling events, we hereby enter a motion for the following. Per Article 104, an emergency suspension of the vested rights of Second Milsha's autonomous government. I'd like to add that the 422nd Fleet from Gedalia has been dispatched to the scene in order to surround and contain both the Kukai Foundation and Second Milsha. 
Hold on there. Won't that constitute an unauthorized use of force? The deployment is in accordance with the Federation Emergency Powers Act. It is fully within our powers. I would think that the Kukai Foundation possessing that level of weaponry is a far greater problem in and of itself. Perhaps they were heroes during the conflict, or whatever in the past. But the current situation is a result of letting them have their way for so long. The Zohar belonged to the entire Federation. Why should Second Milsha have sole control? Ah, uh, good old power-hungry bureaucrats. The of old Milsha over to an impartial third party was decided by vote 14 years ago. We're talking about the dangers of it being monopolized by a corporation. The Kukai Foundation was converted after the completion of the post-war cleanup and their own disarmament. Since taking on their current name and converting to a business, their primary source of income has become entertainment and tourism. How could they possibly have a vested interest in the Zohar? You call that disarmed? It's just enough for self-defense. Think back to the reason the organization was formed. Not only that, we can't ignore their recent achievements against the Gnosis. Can we be certain these accusations aren't merely jealousy on the part of a state that didn't receive post-war government handouts? How dare you! I've heard rumors that Milsha was secretly involved not only with the current planetary disappearance case, but also with other recent developments, including the Anti-Gnosis Sohar project. I'd like to hear the contact subcommittee's thoughts on all this. Dr. Mizrahi? We moved the 100 series Realian to second Milsha in accordance with the original plan. We're following the protocols. But I wonder... Have you forgotten that it was Milsha that produced the lunatic that summoned the Gnosis and tried to destroy the Federation? I sympathize with your desire to defend your late husband, but... Perhaps you are too deeply involved in this situation. I would not have expected my presence here to be misconstrued in such a manner. Oh, really? That this is just nothing to do with governmental policy. You you must have the Federation if you continue. So nothing of importance is being done here. Order! We've just patched in with Representative Helmer. I'd like to hear about the situation from the second Milshan government. Well, Representative Helmer? We hereby place the Kukai Foundation under arrest for the suspicion of violating Article 798, Chapter 37, Collection and Concealment of Defense Information, and Article 2153, Chapter 105, Acts of Aggression Against Federation Vessels, and hereby revoke all rights previously granted. Shut down your engines and relinquish your weapons immediately. Acts of Aggression Against Federation Vessels? Furthermore, should the Milshan government allow the Kukai Foundation to dock the Durandal, we will issue a state of emergency notice under Article 2384. Chapter 115, Part 18, Conspiracy what in the world to is Aid going Insurrection. On? It looks like they think the Durandal conspired with the Milshan government in an attack on the Federation fleet. Huh? What Federation fleet? Hey, check out the network news on the sub-monitor! You're not gonna believe this! On the morning of the 21st, it appears that the 177th Marine Division flagship Oglinde of the Galaxy Federation's Tessadora Division came under attack by a heavily armed ship belonging to the Kukai Foundation. The Woglinde? What? I thought the Gnosis... That's some pretty nicely doctored footage. The company has been identified as operating in conjunction with the second Milshan government, and considerations for the possibility of treason have forced the Federation Parliament to dispatch... They did a good job doctoring that video. But how did they synchronize the battle coordinates as well? Damn! That's from when we fought the UTIC organization! Those bastards were recording it! I see. That would explain how the absolute coordinates match. I guess that's their indisputable proof. Even I'm starting to think that we did it. <laughs> Considering the situation, you don't sound very worried. In any event, this is confirmation that the remnants of the UTIC organization have infiltrated both the Federation government and the military. Which means their next target is. This is such a blatant lie, it's ludicrous. As survivors, if we testify. They'll just claim that you survived because you were in on the conspiracy. 
This is insane. Do you think this is why headquarters hasn't communicated with us? You thought Junior was yelling about the YouTube organization? <laughs> I could appreciate that. Roman of the Galaxy Federation Special Ops Command Headquarters, Intelligence Bureau. I hereby place this ship under custody of the Galaxy Federation. I understand you're from the Woglinde. I'll take you in as witnesses. All vector property will be temporarily confiscated as evidence. Cosmos. Here's the 100 series Realian under warrant. Hey, don't hurt her! Ugh. Detain them in a single room and watch them carefully. All of them? Splitting them up will only serve to underman our guard posts. Investigate as much of the ship as possible before we rendezvous with the others. Yes, ma'am. Gainan Kukai, you are hereby under arrest for suspicion of treason against the Galaxy Federation. Come with me. As you wish. Man, the Federation sucks. <laughs> It's all orchestrated too well. Huh? The fleet deployment came too quickly. They must have been prepared to ensure that Momo would return to them, regardless of what happened. Or perhaps ensnaring second Milsha was part of their plan from the very beginning. As a neutral territory, second Milsha was invested with a whole bunch of rights and legal privileges after the Milshan conflict. There are a whole lot of folks who still have problems with that. Even outside of the UTIC organization. The asteroid where Momo was imprisoned. I wondered where the information about that place came from. Now it seems like it was all part of the plan from the very beginning. Do you mean from when Mommy sent you to rescue me? You don't think there are UTIC members within the subcommittee itself? It's not inconceivable. Perhaps it was the very person who arranged for Momo's rescue, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi herself. No! Mommy would never do something like that! Alan! I... Uh, sorry. Alan, open mouth, insert foot. Hey, Shadow. I know... Well, you popped up a bit earlier and I said hi, but you might not have been listening, Open so, it. hello. Helmer? Sorry to keep you waiting, Guinan. I'm in a somewhat difficult position myself at the moment, but I'm doing what I can with the Federation Parliament. Now, the woman beside you is Captain Lapis Roman. Several years ago, I sent her to infiltrate the military in order to keep tabs on the UTIC members within it. She is one of my most trusted subordinates. Always prepared, aren't you? Caution is something that comes naturally with age. Captain Roman will investigate the Durandal's records before someone modifies them. Please assist her. Understood. I'll give her the Durandal's master key. Sir. There's an EPR com from the CEO of Vector. Vector? All right, I'll take it. If you'll excuse me, I'll let you know if there are any developments. Busy as always. Not half as much as you. It's good to see you again, Representative Helmer. Likewise, Mr. Wilhelm. 
We haven't spoken since you resigned as executive committee director. <laughs> I'm well aware of the situation. Allow me to make a recommendation really to the parliament as well. Mr. Wilhelm, you're too kind. Actually, my concerns have even prompted me to dispatch the Dameron, which is currently underway to the Milshan system. Your concerns? This incident. No, you're right. He is dark. There's no question of the Utic organization's involvement in it. Exactly. Given that, it can only mean they're after one thing. The original Zohar in stasis on Milsha and... Udu. We can't allow that to be awakened again. I believe our firm's Cosmos and its related staff are currently in your care. I apologize, Mr. Wilhelm. I'm afraid the link between the Kukai Foundation and the second Milchian government is... Ah, of course. Then please pass a message on to Guinan for me. Surely that would be acceptable? That much I can do. Tell him that we'll lend him Cosmos for a while, and he can use her as he sees fit. We still have time before the Zohar project commences, and in the worst case scenario, she'll definitely be of use. We'll have yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like, division I can't wait sim lab to find out support. what Udu oh, is, sure? because they Isn't do not even come close to telling you in this first game. View, the more real world data we get, the better. All right. I'll convey your message to Master Guinan. Thank you. Good day, then. You want to shake the person who came up with the Ooh. names of all the unique things in this game? No, 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 no. Shake the translators. The preliminary inquiry shall now begin. And probably the localization. Definitely shake the localization team because they did some wonky censorship. I am an agent working for Representative Helmer of the Second Milshan Parliament. He's also with us. We can go into detail later, but for now I'll just debrief you on the current situation. You are presently under the custody of the Federation government and the military. All right, Mr. JRPG, have a good night, man. I'll be Thanks for hanging out. The way things are now, within a few hours, she'll be turned over to anti milchian forces. Specifically, the Utic organization. Soon after, the second Milchian government will be stripped of all its authority. At this moment, Representative Helmer is working with the leaders of the Milchian parliament to buy us additional time. However... Our opponent's skillful manipulation requires us to find concrete oh. proof of your innocence. Thank you for the bits, Anonymous Cheer. I appreciate that. But how? Whoever you are. That's the question. We need something that would give conclusive evidence of your innocence. Conclusive evidence? What about the Woglinde's black box? We've already recovered that. Unfortunately, sometime after the final gate out, it was modified to be exactly the same as the video recording down to the time access. Not to mention, I shot up the database on that Utic battleship. What about the Durandal's database? A record of the battle against the Utic should still be there. Can't we use that to prove our innocence? Is that a standard database? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Is that a problem? Yes. Standard databases are too easily modified. I'm not certain how reliable they would be as evidence. If we had something that even the owner couldn't change, say, a system with a AAA class encryption, then maybe... What? AAA? You don't find systems with that kind of protection just lying around? Or something like that. You need the Federation government's mother frame, or the UMN operating system. We... What? We have one. Oh. Cosmos. Cosmos? Yes. Cosmos database has a recording of the battle against the Gnosis on board the Woglinde. If we enter that as evidence... 
Yeah, but in order to copy the record, we need the keys from both the Federation government and headquarters. By diving into the Encephalon and experiencing the record ourselves, we can make a copy through the connection gear. Uh, but that's impossible without the dive equipment. How about the service module simple dive unit? You've got to be kidding. Besides, that's a violation of protocol. We don't have any other choice, do we? Oh, I'm so sick and tired of protocol. Yeah, I thought protocol went out the window when we got but attacked by giant monsters. The real question is, how do we get to Cosmos? That'll open any locked doors you come across. I'll just say that we were careless. But to make it look legitimate, you'll need to knock me out. You sure? Otherwise, no one would believe it, right? You have a point. <laughs> Why is he the primary He's candidate for this? <laughs> well, at least he apologized. I guess there's no choice but to fight. Well, hold up. Why is it just him? Okay. I, I will leave it to you then. Oh my gosh. The ghost has struck again. I never asked for this. Ready? But thank you. <laughs> Angel wins. I really appreciate that. Well, I don't remember the layout of this at all. I was hoping I'd be able to break these fish tanks. Oh, that's the end of the hallway. Derp. have to recover weapons. That's why Cosmos is the only one punching people. Sorry, chaos. Where is my brain today? Well, if the equipment is somewhere in this area, then it's got to be up here. to equip item, huh? Okay. I understood that. How many beers have I had? Two. I haven't I haven't gone past two.
I'm not on trial here. <laughs> Why were there booster packs in the vending machine? That might have answered my own question, but... Oh. Well, tell you guys what. It's probably a good place to stop on Xenosaga for today. And we can take back the ship and... Because the whole, uh... Diving into the Encephalon with Cosmos is gonna... Like, I'd be here until like 2 in the morning. <laughs> so, I'm gonna switch games real quick. So, give me a couple minutes and I'll be right back. <laughs> 